and you swallow a pill of ibuprofen to try and stop the pain. Do you know what happens to it inside your body? How does it know where you're hurting when it's not loaded with GPS? Two minutes to understand how ibuprofen works. Ibuprofen is the cream of the crop when it comes to painkillers. It takes just one small tablet to help relieve your pain. When you swallow an ibuprofen capsule with warm water, it's the first thing to reach your stomach. The shell of the capsule, made up mostly of proteins, is dissolved by stomach acid and digestive enzymes. After 10 minutes, the ibuprofen that's hidden inside will reveal itself. It's then absorbed into the small intestine and into the vascular network and travels by vein to our liver. During this process, the enzymes in our body will collide with the ibuprofen molecules and cause a small amount of attrition. Most of the ibuprofen molecules are able to avoid the enzymes by maneuvering around and enter the body's bloodstream. At this point, it's been almost 30 minutes since you swallowed the ibuprofen. Next, the ibuprofen army will visit every organ of the body on red blood cells. When they detect pain signals, they bind to specific target molecules and create a chemical reaction. Then they send the signal to other ibuprofen molecules, telling them to get to work. An hour later, the army is assembled. It's time to show some real skill. Normally, the pain of menstrual cramps is caused by prostaglandins, stimulating pain receptors. What ibuprofen wants is not a 1VS10, but a sneak attack from behind to get to the prostaglandin-producing enzyme cyclooxygenase. Ibuprofen then binds to cyclooxygenase and silences it. At this point, the ibuprofen's pain relief mission is complete. Over the next few hours, the ibuprofen that's left in your bloodstream will pass through your liver several times. It's then metabolized in a certain ratio and finally excreted in the urine.